I'm Sarah Scott. It was my stroke anniversary last week um, and I had my stroke seven years ago, which is a long time. It is a long time. Um, and last year was lots and lots of changes that are good changes I think well I know um or well, one of the things um I was working at the school um not full time um and I always wanted to have one of the goals to have a full time job um even though it would be difficult because I'm still tired all the time really um that I could I, I kind of realise that I can do it um, and I actually have found a job and I did an interview which is basically the first interview I've ever done really um, and it was very very scary really because they didn't know that I had a stroke, they didn't know that I had aphasia um, and it was they were really, really understanding. I actually said that I had a stroke and they didn't know what a phase it is, so I was saying what that is. Um, and they actually said that there's two jobs and they were really pleased with me, which is good. And they said, you can pick one of the jobs. And so I'm working full time now, which is amazing. And I'm really pleased. Um, I'm working at Glaxo now and um, my job is basically um, making um, buffers like solutions and stuff like that um, which is really good because it's I don't really read and write a lot and that's good for me because obviously my speech is a bit better but my reading and writing is still difficult um, there's still challenges to do with um, emails and stuff like that so it's not like they're you know an easy job but I'm really pleased and I really like it there and um, our team are really understanding and really nice so that, that's really nice. So. That's really positive great news and what else is happening? Also I'm still in a relationship with my boyfriend um, so that's another thing and also we're thinking of buying a house together um, so which is good a challenging thing also because like just looking at houses they always want to phone you up and I couldn't do that because they say what time are you free and then I couldn't say that or they say that um, so even though you sometimes you could do it online and sometimes I say can you email me not phone up but they still phone up why well, I don't know and the mortgages or forms and numbers and things like that so sort of arranging a mortgage has been yeah. very challenging for you but there are ways around it and you yeah. worked really well and also my boyfriend is really understanding and he yeah. helps me a lot he's always phoning up people about things and um, even doing the mortgage because it's together um, he can help me out or we just say that I had a stroke and I have problems with talking so um, everything is it's still difficult I think just buying a house but um, we're really pleased and it's great yeah so you're doing kind of normal things that someone your age is doing which is your goal isn't it really yeah, so this kind of, this video is to do with, if I didn't have my stroke, I would do the same thing, having a full-time job, having a house, and things like that, and kind of, I want to say that, yes, it's challenging um, if you have a stroke or you have a failure as well, but you can do it still, um, and obviously, it's easier if you've got family or friends to help you, but you can actually do it on your own. It's just 
you know, you yeah. can do it. A brain injury is hard, isn't it? But there are still things that you can do and, and there's help out there if you, if you need it. And more young people are suffering strokes. There's sort of more research about that, isn't there? So um, more and more younger yeah. people, unfortunately. So hopefully they'll know that it doesn't have to be the end of your life. You can still... Do whatever you want to do yeah. as your goal. If it's to do with, you know, driving again, or for me, it was the first time driving, or having a, a job if it's not full time, or mm. or a house, or something that's just, I don't know, yeah. anything that you want. Like you said, every stroke is different. You might have epilepsy or something that prevents you from driving, but you can still have goals, can't you? And yeah. achieve them. I'll always have goals that are small and then, yeah. you know, you can't just say, I'm going to have a house now. You know, <laughs> need to be. No, it'd be nice. Um, yeah, and another thing that I'm doing now, which is another challenge really, because I'm working full time, is I'm doing some research in London um, and I'm actually going there on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Um, and every day, even at the weekends, um, and I'm doing um, reading um, just sen not sentences, just words. Um, I think I always think anything to do with something that you've never done before or doing something that's different is good for your brain. Um, also, I think it's a good, well, I think I'll do any, not anything, but almost anything to do with stroke or aphasia, because if I know that I've helped people out mm -hmm. to try do different things, um, yeah, the research studies are really good in helping people to understand recovery after a stroke, recovery of language. So, I mean, a lot of the big cities in the UK have research programmes and it's good for people with aphasia to be involved, isn't and it? And some things that you can do at home as well, yeah. if you can't go to London or there's other uh, types of places. So, um, if you're interested, you can... Um, yeah, get in touch in the comments and we'll try and put you in touch. This one's with Dr Alex Lev in London and um, the researchers are all young and really nice and friendly, aren't they? So it's a good experience. Yeah, and obviously they know like a lot of people that have strokes and aphasia, so they're very friendly, so they're really nice. Yeah, and... something to recommend. Is there anything else you want to say to people? Some of the people have been watching your videos for seven years now and seen a big change in you. <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos. I don't know why you're watching it. <laughs> no, it's it's really nice, and um, I always think that I'm boring because there's nothing to say. But there's always something, even though it's sometimes it's. Well, your language has improved, and although it's hard for you to say specific things, you can find different ways of saying things if you want to, can't you? You couldn't follow a script, but. Yeah, I think people think that. I can talk and I can walk now and that's fine but they don't realise that I have so many problems still but I'm coping a lot also because my stroke was not yesterday it was a long time ago and, and I've got my apps and I just think you know if I can't say something I can actually just say that I had a stroke and I have aphasia and if they say what's that then I'll actually say like yeah. what a phase it is so what you know there's nothing that bad just you know be positive and be yeah. grateful but you know you're here and yeah. yeah your confidence has grown hasn't it and I think that's an important part of recovery yeah well sometimes I'm still scared but I think you know just do it you, you can do it yeah. good anyway <laughs> <laughs> bye